Joby and Archer, first time ever, the face off. Hey up everyone, welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. I'm Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking EV tolls. I've got invitation to well, I've got invitation to the biggest, so far the biggest EV toll air show. It might not be big in general, but for the EV toll market it's massive. What's happening? What's going on? Well, if you are based in California or within the travel distance, you might wanna you might wanna pay attention. Salinas 2025, the EV toll showdown. We have Archer versus Joby face to face for the first time. This October 4th and 5th is literally this weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday at Salinas Municipal Airport. You have the address here. Aviation history will be written. For the first time ever, Archer Aviation and Joby Aviation will share the same stage, flying their electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft side by side at the California International Air Show in Salinas. Traditionally known for roaring jets and aerobatic legends, this year's Salinas, uh, Salinas show transforms into something far more significant, a showcase for the future of aviation. What you are seeing here is our newsletter, uh, it's full of media, full of links. Uh, the link is below this video. There's a seven day trial. You get one daily from Sensei with your market prediction, five things, five topics to focus on, uh, deep dives, chart analysis. I do one on Saturday and I'm bringing you EV toll market analysis. I'm bringing you invitations to events like you can see on the screen. So this is the, this is the, uh, this is the setup and it looks very good. Uh, we have we have uh, the Blue Angels. They unfortunately are not attending. However, if you look at this, if you look at the setup, it's still promising and it's very attractive. But the main spotlight obviously is Archer and Joby. So Archer Aviation Midnight takes flight. For Archer, Salinas is home turf. The company's test facility is based right at the airport where its midnight aircraft has already completed a series of major test flights. And let me just offer you uh, this nice video. This is from the Salinas ground. So recent, uh, recent highlights include reaching 7,000 and 10,000 feet in altitude. 10,000 is still unconfirmed by Archer, but they will no doubt they will confirm this soon. Uh, so they are pushing, uh, they are pushing the, uh, the, the, the height further and further. We are expanding flight envelope testing ahead of certification. Archer have recently confirmed they are pushing their flight boundaries up to 55 miles. Archer also have announced they are bringing nearly 1,000 team members from across engineering, testing and operations to celebrate the milestone. We have scheduled, uh, they are scheduled to fly both days of the show as one of the opening demonstrations. This follows a string of milestones, FAA flight authorizations, defense program developments and commercial readiness moves. All conven converging in what could be Archer's most public moment yet. So Archer, we know Archer very well. We know their PR, we know their advertisement, and no doubt, no doubt, they will sleep on this. They will go all out, definitely. However, however, things are heating up. We also have Joby Aviation, a true homecoming. Joby Aviation is... is Yes, that's the one. Joby Aviation will arrive in Salinas fresh from its latest breakthrough. The first FAA approved flight between US airports. The first ever flight in the US of eVTOL was between Marina and Monterey. And then Joby have carried out multiple flights between Marina, their home base, and Salinas. Joby's participation at the air show includes public cabin walkthroughs for visitors, meet the engineer session to showcase the technology and a focus on community engagement and transparency as the company nears certification. For Joby, this isn't just another event, it's a return home. Built in the region, tested nearby and now shown to the public, Joby's aircraft represents a tangible step toward real-world eVTOL operations. 
we have Oliver Walker Jones, the spokesperson of Joby. They are they are not beating around. They are <laughs> they are going all out as well. Look at this little little jab at Archer. You don't need to blow your own trumpet when you have the USC Trojan mar marching band to do it for you. If you can get to Salinas, if you can get there, it will definitely be great presentation, no doubt. So why this moment matters? This marks the first time two major US EV toll manufacturers will fly together in one event, making Salinas 2025 a historic benchmark for electric air mobility. With the Blue Angels and other military acts grounded due to the ongoing government shutdown, the spotlight now turns fully to civilian innovation and Archer and Joby are ready to seize it. Observers, from investors to engineer, uh, engineers, will be watching. What are they going to be watching? How smooth are the transition and power and ho hover phases? How stable are both aircraft in side-by-side -side performance? Which company better demonstrates readiness for commercial service? And how? Uh, and most importantly, which captures the crowd's imagination first? So there is the showdown between between Joby and between Archer. Which one will steal the show? Which one will steal the hearts of the, of the audience? And also, there's a little plot twist. We have somebody on the ground. And it's not one person. It's multiple people on the ground. And I can't wait to get all the media, the pictures, videos. And we might have somebody even calling, covering this live. So, stand by. There will be an event this weekend when we will be covering the event, the Salinas Air Show, live. Um, I'm not saying who that is, but one of the people, one of, well, okay, one of the persons is in the chat and it's nobody else than Zach. Zach has got his ticket. Zach is on the way to California, Salinas. So he will be on the ground and I've got a mo few more people who confirmed they will be there. So no doubt we'll see a lot of content. So we, we will see real-time updates through the weekend, uh, commentary and insights from Vaz and EVTOL Hub team and exclusive footage and reactions from both the Archer and Joby displays. So that's it. How about that? If you are in the travel distance, I think it's definitely worth it. Because if you look at the setup, let's have a look again. Let me bring this on the screen for you again. If you look at the setup, you have a lot of historic aircraft, you have a lot of demo flights as well. And you will have, for the first time ever, two eVTOL companies flying side by side. It's never happened before. You always had only one demo at an event. Now, for the first time ever, you can see and compare two eVTOL aircraft side by side. So if you are going there, good luck. I wish you clear sky. And stand by, stay tuned for more updates. That's it from me. Here is a video related to this content. And here is a playlist full of EV tolls. Take care of yourselves and each other.